My name is Chelsea Ryoka Wong, and my exhibition at Part 2 is called Poetry After All. When I, when I started working larger, I do feel like it pushed me to work my compositions in a different way. Um, with a smaller painting, you know, it's not really taking up as much wall space. So you can, you can fit in a lot of figures and a lot of, um, you can make it really busy, which I, I actually really, I love busy and a lot of maximalist action happening. Working larger, you just think about how, how the canvas occupies a wall, occupies a room, and how demanding it is for your eyes. And so I think that it's important to just um, be aware of that space and be aware when I'm making compositions and making paintings not to just oversaturate something. Somebody asked me last week if I felt like um, truth was really important in my work, and I actually told them that in my real life, truth is very important, but in my art, truth is not important at all because I am an artist and it's my idea to kind of create this other world for people to escape in or for people to dream up. So the interior spaces that I do create have some sort of root in fact, usually, but then it's my mind kind of taking me and taking the viewer to another place that I've dreamt up or another place that feels um, I guess, more joyous or beautiful to me. My outdoor spaces are definitely manifestations of um, this kind of dream and utopian world that I am looking towards in my work. Um, I think that the, you know, my compositions are really influenced just by what I see in my day-to-day -day life and just the beauty that's out there in the world. So it used to be about a lot of travel. And since we can't really travel anymore, now I'm looking for the, you know, the beauty I see just closer by, or just, you know, if I went to the river and I saw something that I thought, I thought, oh, I need to make this a painting, then now I try to make it a painting and it's pushed me and my art in a different direction. Because I think that my work used to be more about um, like groups of people in more stationary spaces. And now I'm trying to push my compositions more to look a little bit more realistic and to kind of reflect the things that I see that someone else might see within my work as well, where they see like, oh, here's a river. Oh, I've been to that river or I've seen that rock. And I think that that's something that's important for me as, as well. In my imagined world, people eat good. <laughs> People enjoy themselves, people feel free to be who they want to be, um, there's a lot of diversity, usually there's some sort of aspect of leisure or having a good time and just enjoying yourself because I think that life is too short not to enjoy yourself and oftentimes people don't get to do that enough. So in my you know, paintings and scenes that I create, people are always having a good time, they're always um, you know, along, they're alongside friends and family or eating good food or relaxing. And I think everybody needs more of that in their life. Diversity in painting is very important for me. Um, as an Asian American woman, I grew up not seeing a lot of Asian American women or Asian people in media, on TV, in magazines. So I felt like with you know, me being an artist and image maker, it's really important for me to put out this imagery that I would want the world to see, right? We have capital as artists. So what do you, what's your responsibility? What's my responsibility to, you know, diversifying media, diversifying art galleries, diversifying social media. For me, it's important for my niece who, who she identifies as black and Japanese for her to see role models like her out when she looks, you know, at a gallery or when she sees someone on TV or when she sees someone, you know, in, you know, on her phone, on social media, if she's going through Instagram and seeing like, who are people painting? I want her to see people that look like her. When I was thinking about the title of this show, I wanted to have something um, 
that reflected these different scenes that I was creating. And sometimes I feel like each painting I create is a little poem. It feels like a little short story and each piece feels complete. And at the same time, all of them together feel like they're creating a larger nar narrative or a set of poems. And I felt like through the pandemic, it was important to acknowledge the rough time that everybody has had and everyone's experienced. And at the same time, there is a little bit of beauty that's coming out of it, right? Um, these paintings or, you know, my ability to just focus more on my art has been wonderful or, um, you know, just whatever people have found through all this struggle. So the title Poetry After All is really meant to be kind of an homage to just the beauty after the darkness, right? There's something that, that can be looked at positively or can be looked at in a in a nice lens um, because I do think that it's important to focus on on joy and optimism when we can you know not always but definitely it's been a beacon of light for me to be able to paint through this and just see the beauty in life.